Hello, hi, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to do a dazzle dry manicure on some severely damaged nails. Now, I wanted to start this video with my head because I wanted to let you guys know that this damage wasn't because I removed these nails. It was because my client had gone to another salon and they quickly removed it with a shop Dremel. Yes, you heard me correct. An actual shop Dremel, not a nail Dremel or an e-file. A Dremel. So my advice for anybody out there who wants to get their gel polish removed and see somebody with a shop Dremel, uh, just walk out the front door. Uh, you could get your nails removed somewhere else that maybe doesn't use shop Dremels, or you could learn how to remove your polish safely at home. So I'd also wanted to include what should you do when your nails come back looking like this? The best solution would be to leave them alone, let them grow out. Probably using something like Dazzle Dry, which is hypoallergenic and very gentle on the nails, is okay. Stay away from gel polishes, especially ones that are not hypoallergenic, because those can lead to an allergy, especially when your nail plate is so compromised and so thin. It is much closer to your skin, which can lead to a lot of problems. If you want to hear more about gel allergies, I made a video about a month ago, I think, and I will link it up over here, I think, over there. So that's all I really wanted to say. I hope you guys enjoy this video. It was really nice to see the adhesion and wear that my client got with this set of Dazzle Dry nails, and I was super proud of them. This is one of my first manicures with Dazzle Dry. I have just started using the system, and I really like it a lot, and I'm gonna continue using it and hopefully get some more Dazzle Dry clients that I can make videos with. All right, I'll see you guys in the video. Okay, so the first step of doing a Dazzle Dry manicure is using their prep liquid. And you do need to use the prep liquid with the whole system. It makes sure that everything adheres nicely, as well as making sure you warm up the base coat. So I've included these clips, which I did not film. Hello, welcome back. If you found my video because you love Dazzle Dry, continue watching to see how I transform these overfiled nails with Dazzle Dry and their Ridge Filler Transform. To start the manicure, I do all of my regular prep steps, then I follow the Dazzle Dry prep recommendations, except I don't use oil on the nails before I start prepping them. This is because I am used to doing gel and I would not want to inhibit any adhesion to the natural nail. I also think it would be counterproductive to oil and then vigorously cleanse the nails during the service, but that is really just my own opinion, and I will add oil and lotions after the service. After I cleanse the nail, I apply two thin coats of the base coat, and I make sure they dry in between applying each one. It takes about one to two minutes to dry the first coat, so it should be dry on one hand while you work on the other, and then again when you apply the second coat.
After both the base coats are fully dry, I use the ridge filler, Transform. This is like an overlay that adds strengths and smooths out imperfections. At first I had a hard time using it, but then I thinned it out a little bit with a few drops of Revive, the brand's thinner, and now I really like it. You need to let this layer dry fully before you continue. I heard that some folks don't like Transform because of the small amount of time that it takes to do this step, but I really like the look of it, and I also find it really helps the polish last as long as possible, similar to a gel overlay. After you let transform dry, you add one last layer of the base coat, and because everything dries so quickly, you honestly are not really adding any extra time doing these steps, maybe about 5 extra minutes. On these two nails, I accidentally put the color before I put the base, so I'm just putting base over top of the color because it's completely dry, so then all the nails are done exactly the same way except for those two. This is the color Affluent, which is from Dazzle Dry's 2022 fall collection. It's kind of a light grayish blue and has really good coverage. I really like this color a lot. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know I talk about Dazzle Dry all the time. That is because I am getting Dazzle Dry clients, and if you do not talk about your service, nobody will know you have it. Anyways, aside from that, you know that I have a lot of colors, and what I've noticed is most of the colors are very opaque and creamy, but there are a couple that are a little bit less opaque and probably need three coats. However, if you add the third coat, it's not like a regular polish or a gel color where you're adding so much extra time. This actually actually is quite quick to add the third layer and it usually turns out a lot nicer if you do that. But I found with this color I only needed two coats and those other two fingers that I accidentally coated, they looked exactly the same as the other ones. It's really funny that I started using lacquer because honestly I never thought I would in my career. I was really like headstrong working with gel. It's what I love, what I've done my entire career, but I really am open-minded and am okay with like opening my mind to something that might not be like a regular polish, but be a polish and that's what Dazzle Dry is. It's very unique. The formula is really nice and it lasts really well on most people. If your nails are like super flaky dry, it'll probably chip because the polish will come off with the nail flakes, but if your nails are in good condition, this stuff lasts on everybody and it looks so nice. They do have wonderful colors and I really like supporting this company.
If you're still watching, help a teeny tiny channel grow by liking this video so other people who enjoy these kinds of videos can also find it. Also, you can recommend this video to a friend. I would truly appreciate your support and thank you so much in advance. Okay, now the top coat. The top coat is super quick drying and can be a little bit of a learning curve to work with if you are just starting out with Dazzle Dry, but keep on trying, it works, it's awesome. After you do the top coat, you set a timer for five minutes and then you can bang your clients around, you can bang your clients' nails around if you want and they're completely dry, it's awesome. Um, I had a client come in recently and they came for a mani-pedi and they were able to take off their shoes, untie their laces and had absolutely no nicks or smudges on their polish. It is really that amazing. I'm not sponsored. I just really like this system and it makes me really happy and it's something that everybody can use, not just nail techs, also just people who are DIYers, anybody. So that is what I have to say about Dazzle Dry. Oh, and please don't forget, nail care is the same if you have gel, acrylic, polish, bare. You need to oil those nails because that's what's going to help them stay healthy. So that's just my little tip. Now for the final reveal, thank you again for so much for watching, I will see you next time.